Hi, today we're graphing radical functions. I chose this function, f of x equals 2 root x plus 5 minus 3, and I set up a graph and a couple tables. My favorite method to graph these radicals is by shifting the parent function. So first we're going to identify that parent function, and then we'll shift the function based on what we see inside and outside of the radical. The first thing we have to do is identify the parent function. Now, we're going to take the shifts out, and we're just going to leave in the a value and the x. 2 root x. The 2 is important because it changes the, the shape of the graph, not just where the graph is on the grid. We are going to take out these shifts, um, and we should identify them now. So we have a, a plus 5, and we know that inside is always opposite. So that plus 5 means we're going to be going left 5, so minus 5. And outside the, uh, excuse me, outside of the bracket, the negative 3, uh, we know that that's just going to shift down, down 3. Let's plug in some points here to get our, uh, a couple points for our, our parent function. The easiest point to plug in, of course, is 0. 2 times the square root of 0 is just 0. We can also plug in 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Now this will always be the a value. Whatever the a value is, if you plug in 1, you'll get out the a value uh, as your y value. So now let's shift the function. We see that we're going left 5 to all the x values. So 0 minus 5 is negative 5. 1 minus 5 is negative 4. And we're going to shift down our y values. So 0 minus 3 is negative 3, and 2 minus 3 is negative 1. So now we can plot these points. Negative 5, negative 3, and negative 4, negative 1. This is our vertex, and we could see that in here. And this is our next point as we go up. Now, how do we go about getting more points for our graph? Well, radicals are a little funky because they have the square root and not every number has an easy square root. So we have to think in terms of finding the perfect squares. <clears throat> so we can think about this in terms of the square root of, when we plugged in negative 5, negative 5 plus 5 was 0. When we plugged in negative 4, negative 4 plus 5 was 1. 0 is a square number, 1 is a square number. Our next square number is 4. What would we need to plug into x in order to get a 4 out of here? A negative 1. So let's plug in a negative 1. And we're just going to plug it in right to our original function. Negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus 3 is 1. Our next nice square number is 9. How do we get 9 out of here? Well, x would have to be 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 2 times 3, 6. 6 minus 3, 3. So here's two more points that we can then plot on our graph. And then we can connect. Now there's a pretty cool pattern that forms when you're graphing radicals. And it's kind of a shortcut, um, but, you know, I wanted to show you anyway, and you can make the choice whether to use it or not. So I'm going to erase this. And I want to look at the pattern in our table, in our shifted table. Now from negative 3 to negative 1, we went up 2. From negative 1 to 1, we went up 2. And from 1 to 3, we went up 2. This is our a value. And I'll label that a like we did over here. Now let's look at what we have going on over here. From negative 5 to negative 4, we go up 1. From negative 4 to negative 1, we go up 3. And from negative 1 to 4, we go up 5. 1, 3, 5. The next would be to go up 7. So our uh, x value would be 11. 
If we plug that in, 11 plus 5 is 16, which is a nice square number. The square root of 16 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 3 is 5. And we can see that from 3 to 5 here, we went up 2. So you can graph with this pattern here, right from the vertex. From there, you go up A over 1, up A over 3, up A over 5, and you'd go up, up A over 7. So that's a bit of a shortcut to graphing radicals. I did write that on this free cheat sheet. The link to the cheat sheet is in the, in the post below this video, um, and if you're on YouTube, the link to the post will be underneath the video. I hope you have a great day.